most important thing with social media is using it in a way that works for your business. So if you're a salon and you have the resources to spend more time and money on social media or if you have the budget, then you can explore like so many different avenues with it and really like put a strategy in place and um, use it to use it to your benefit and kind of set goals for yourself and say I want to reach this many followers by this time I want to get more clients through the door I want to communicate ourselves to our client so making sure your clients know what your prices are, where you're based, what your vibe is, what it's going to be like when they come into the salon and using it as a communicative tool. I always think it's good to do a test, so on an Instagram feed there's three photos in a grid. So I think it's always good you could do like three individual photos. You could do a photo of the service that you do, a photo of your team and a photo of the salon and kind of gauge through your insights what, what does the best for you. My biggest piece of advice when taking content is just um, clean your screen before you take photos. <laughs> I always think that's a huge thing that people miss and it's something that if I'm scrolling I instantly wouldn't like something that was blurry because it just doesn't catch my eye. So good lighting, um, good clear photos and I always think like the captions that go along with the content are really important. A lot of people don't read captions but I think it can kind of direct the conversation in a way that you want it to go. There's a wealth of information online about when you should be posting and I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know the answer, the answers to when you should post but I always think like late at night, like 8 or 9pm is always a good time to post because people are kind of winding down from their day, they've had their dinner and they're kind of giving themselves a bit of me time to scroll. That for me is the biggest, the biggest no when, it, when you have a brand or a business that's providing services. There are some businesses where it works, you know, like a bit of a sassy attitude that kind of works when they're speaking to their audience. But I think when you have a salon and you have so many different types of people that come through your door, like you'll, you'll know yourself, like one client to the next client, they're so different. And I think you have to have a level of professionalism when you're speaking to those people. When you're writing your captions or anything that you're writing online, you have to be mindful of everyone that's seen it and you have to try and be inclusive. Don't ever use language that is, obviously obviously, salads, like it's a female dominated industry, it really is and a lot of clients are female, but don't exclude people that don't identify as female, like don't use language that excludes those people because you want everyone to feel safe in your environment.